In this video, we would learn how to apply uh, validations in the Vue 3 applications uh, using this library called uh, vValidate. So I just used it in the expense tracker app I was recently working on. So uh, you can check the documentation of uh, this uh, library. Uh, it's uh, uh, created for uh, Vue 3 and uses uh, Composition API. It uh, has a lot of examples to check out. It's quite popular having around uh, 10k plus stars on GitHub. To begin with you can uh, run this command for installation uh, npm install vvalidate. So let's dive into the code. So I used this uh, form validation from vvalidate in this login.view component. So I have imported this uh, use form from vvalidate uh, library. And I have a uh, few uh, custom functions uh, for validations. Uh, on line number 93, I have uh, used this uh, composable called use form from this library. I have extracted defined input binds, handle, submit, and errors. Uh, and I have passed this uh, validation schema. So, validation schema is an object which contains a uh, uh, key as the fields and the value would be the functions which would be uh, which would validate the values of the corresponding fields for example uh, i have defined this uh, required uh, which is a function here so it simply checks if there is a value in this field or not if there is a value it would uh, return true else it would return an error uh, stating that this field is actually required and you need to have some values in it. Uh, this password required field is a custom validation uh, specifically for uh, especially for passwords. In the case uh, if there is a value and if the password is uh, less than uh, 8 like if the length of the password is less than 8 then it would throw a, an error message like password must be at least 8 characters long. Similarly, you can also modify this function uh, to have custom rules applied for password checking. For example, if you want to include a capital letter, a symbol, so all those uh, validations can be applied uh, here. So that's the advantage of uh, writing uh, custom functions. These custom functions are also available in this popular library called Zord, which you can combine with uh, vValidate uh, to write your form validation uh, function but uh, i would have skipped the, uh, that uh, for this video and instead i have defined uh, my custom functions which i mapped against my fields uh, here so the next step is to define the fields uh, for which i would use this function called define input bytes and pass the uh, form field name like we have email and password as our two form fields name and name for this login form and then finally, in the submit function, I, would, I am using this handle submit and inside this handle submit, I would have uh, values available for email and password inside this values object. So I would just be showing you uh, that. Now uh, the question comes like how to uh, display error messages uh, in the template itself. So uh, one thing to notice is uh, I'm not using vModel. Uh, if I have used this use form uh, hook uh, or composable for vValidate uh, and I have defined these fields here uh, using define input bytes, then uh, to uh, associate it with the uh, input fields, I have to use uh, this uh, directive called vBind here. So that's how uh, it works. Uh, it, it, it is all documented in the documentation. So yeah, instead of vModel, we are using vBind directive here. So uh, using this vBind uh, directive here would uh, make sure that uh, whatever you uh, input in this input box uh, would be uh, linked with this uh, variable email which was defined using define input binds so and uh, in case the validation fails for example 
uh, if uh, the email is not valid, if the password length is uh, less than 8, then uh, the errors would be captured inside this errors uh, field, which you can uh, show on your dog uh, by accessing errors. Uh, the name of the field which you defined. So, for example, if I want to display uh, the errors in the email field, if they were captured, uh, I would simply access this errors and inside the, this uh, errors, I would access the email uh, value. Similarly, for password, uh, I would be able to access the password errors uh, using errors.password. So I guess that's it for this video. Uh, if you gained some valuable information from this video, please consider liking it and please subscribe to my channel for more programming and tech related content. Thank you and see you in the next video.